When we start the iOS toolkit, it will look something like this. On the right side, we have several identifiers which are set to null, and this is just because I have not plugged a trusted device into the PC yet. When I do plug a device into the PC and establish a trust, you will notice that these actually populate. So on my side, I'm going to do plug our device in, click the trust button, type our passcode in, and then we'll notice that all of these populate. And if we do for some reason want to manually pair or unpair devices, we can do that by clicking these two buttons and following along what it says within the application log tab. So once we have our devices paired, we can just click on start monitor and the syslog will begin to populate. While the log is mostly live data, occasionally there are some identifiers and historical data which will provide great context and forensic value. For example, the device may attempt to auto-join previous networks which are not even currently seen. So along with the network SSID, we could get the BSSID of these networks, the last connected time, and the latitude and longitude locations of each of these networks. So these are even for older networks that we are not currently seeing. Even though this is a live log, we are getting old data. We can also attempt to force errors by manually interacting with the device and triggering specific identifiers to appear. One thing that I like to try is capturing a sysdiagnose log while monitoring the syslog. And this makes several commands run. And if any of these commands do have an issue, or just general logging data, which isn't actually caused by an issue, will appear in the syslog. And the main issue with syslogs is just that it will print out hundreds of lines per second, and sometimes we even have to let the log run for several minutes before we find what we're looking for. And then at that point, we have tens or hundreds of thousands of lines of data. And our tool really just comes in handy with the parsing aspect, because if we do head over to the syslog analysis tab, we can see that as this is updating, we are automatically parsing it in real time and finding these uh, parsed out identifiers. And it really just takes way too much time to do this by hand to let this run for several minutes and find what we're looking for. But by automatically parsing out, we can find the forensically relevant information through all of this noise.